Okay, everybody, you saw that title, so let's get to making our one pot chicken and rice. So of course, we're gonna first start off with some seasonings. Here I have four chicken drumsticks and four chicken thighs. So I have eight pieces of chicken in total, and we're gonna start out with some salt and pepper. I'm using kosher salt. And the exact measurements will be below, and I have onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. And we wanna really give it a nice amount of seasoning. So let's go ahead and get this a quick mix to get the seasoning throughout all our chicken. So now that this is mixed thoroughly, we're going to just go ahead and get this into our pot of oil to start to cook the chicken. So we're not going to cook it fully. So here I have in a pan some canola oil. You can use vegetable oil as well, but I'm using canola oil. And what we're going to do is like sear them off on both sides. And the goal is not to really cook it 100% through but just to sear it, to get it started, basically. We're gonna let it brown. And here is where probably, if you use skin, it would probably be a little easier, so you gotta make sure it doesn't stick. But it's okay, you can still do it skinless. So what I'm gonna do is sear them on both sides just to get a little brown color on it. Again, not cooking it all the way through but I'm gonna sear them for approximately three minutes on each side to get some cooking going, and then we'll be back. Okay, our chicken has now been going for three minutes, so what I'm gonna do is give them a quick turn. And as you can see, it has a nice golden brown color. You see? I'm gonna do the same thing. So it's gonna be really nice and golden brown. So we're going to do the same thing. Just cook them for three minutes on this side as well. And then we're going to get this out and do the next batch. Okay, so these have been going for three minutes on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do our next batch of four the same exact way. Three minutes on either side. So I will bring y'all back up after this has done three minutes on this side. And once I flip them and um, did the three minutes on the other side, I'll be done with this step and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, so these have been going for three minutes on both sides, so we're going to go ahead and get them out. And so the key to not making it stick when you're using skinless is to not really cook it on high, high heat. You want to have it on a very like low to medium heat. And let me just show you. Look at our chicken. Nice and golden brown. All right, so what we're gonna do is the same part. Come over here and we're gonna add a half a cup of onion and a tablespoon of minced garlic. So that's our half a cup of onions. And here is our garlic. Let me get my spoon. All right, and a tablespoon of minced garlic. So we're going to let this go for three minutes, just let this saute, and I'm not going to um, take off any of the oil. We need all that oil to help us cook everything back down, 
So let's go ahead and let this go for about three minutes and then we will come back. All right, so actually I'm coming back after two and a half minutes. I realized this was long enough. So let's see, get caramelized. So what I'm gonna do now is add the rice. So here I have three cups of parboiled rice, which I've already rinsed. Please wash your rice, you must wash your rice. It's full of starch and grit. So go ahead and get that in there. And again, I'm using three cups. So what I want to do is kind of like toast the rice and all those seasonings, the onion and the garlic. So let's, now I'm going to let this sit in here and kind of like get in that rice for about two minutes before we add our additional ingredients and add the chicken back to the pot. So let's let this go for about two minutes and I'll bring you back. All right, so our rice has been in the pot absorbing those flavors for two minutes so now i'm going to go ahead and add two and a half cups of low sodium chicken broth you can use regular chicken broth it's just that i had the low sodium one so this is what i'm using and since i'm using low sodium and i have so much rice i'm going to add some additional seasoning so i'm going to just take a half of a bouillon cube I have the large one here so I'm just going to take half of it and just crumble that up and put it in there if you have the small one that should be fine but these are the large ones so I'm just going to take again half of it and put it in there I'm also going to just do just a little dash of some red chili flake and I mean a dash just a little sprinkle and then I'm just going to add some fresh parsley So here have some fresh parsley that's, I just cut off the stems and I have a little bit of um, scallion as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump that in there. Mm -hmm. Give it a stir. And now let's just add back the chicken on top. So we're going to take our chicken and get it in there. You can kind of bury it a little bit. That would be fine. Right? Remember, our chicken is not cooked all the way through. It is now going to continue cooking in the pot, in the oven. So I have my oven preheated to 375. And I'm going to set a timer for 40 minutes. And then I will come back and check in and see if it needs to go longer. But 40 minutes may be long enough. It just depends on how big your pieces of chicken are, actually. All right, so you kind of want them to be covered. So I'm going to go ahead and get a lid on this and get this in the oven for 40 minutes before we come back. Okay, everybody, our chicken has been going in the oven for 45 minutes. So now I'm going to give it a test. So what you want to do is just give it a stir all the way to the bottom. You want to see how much moisture you still have in this pot. We also want to go ahead and make sure our chicken is done, which this looks like it still needs to go a little bit more. So let me go ahead, give it a stir. Yeah, we're almost there. It really just depends on the heat of your oven. So you really have to be mindful of that. So let me go ahead and take a fork. And you want to test your chicken. And I think these still need to go a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the oven. I'm actually going to bump it up from 375 to 400 yeah let me do that so i'm going to go ahead get this back in our oven i'm going to go ahead and turn up the temperature and probably go for let this go for at least another 20 minutes and then i will bring y'all back it should be done by then okay so our chicken ooh, has been this is after we have put it on 400 for an additional 20 minutes so i just want to give it a quick stir here and this is definitely done so we could see our chicken is done. Our rice is fully cooked. 
and we can go ahead and take a fork here. I'm gonna get a knife so we can cut just so you can see. If you can see, our chicken is completely cooked, not underdone, no pink inside. So our chicken and rice or rice and chicken, one pot rice and chicken is officially done and ready for us to plate. Oh yeah, this is good. So here is our finished product, our chicken and rice. If you're looking for a dish that's not so complicated, this is definitely one worth trying. Let's give it another quick try. Mm -hmm. Chicken is perfectly done. The rice as well is perfectly seasoned from the spices that we put in the um, chicken as well as our chicken stock. This is definitely one worth giving a shot. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget, again, give it a thumbs up, of course, and I will see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching.